everybody. Welcome to another round of Canty Plays, and today uh, we are getting into my favorite game of all time, Little Kill Forth, by uh, one of my favorite devs, which is Tristan Hall. So uh, we are, I actually am going to get to meet him at, uh, at um, UK Game Expo this year, which I will be going to, so it's going to be great. Hey Jess, what's going on? Woot woot. So Jess is the reason why I'm playing this, because... Uh, she and I played a game of um, Gloom and Killforth. We had such a blast. And I was like, okay, well, let's get it back to the table. <laughs> so I set the stream up to go uh, for this Tuesday night to go through um, because this is a uh, going to be a really fun couple of days for me due to, you know, uh, it being my birthday that uh, I'm going to, I pushed um, the Frostpunk stream to Thursday morning since I'll be off work and I'll be streaming then. But I wanted to play this game tonight and just have some, have a good time, sit back, relax, and just have have some fun with it. So, uh, this ought to be a good time. It ought to be a really, really good time. <laughs> I have uh, usually I randomly select, but this time I've chosen who I'm going to play, which uh, saga I'm going to choose, and the ancient I'm going to fight, and we're going to see if that makes even the slightest bit of, bit of difference. The one thing I also want you to keep in mind is that as I play, if you have questions or rules questions, feel free to throw them in the chat um, if you're watching live or put them, in the, put them in the comments below if you play later, and I'll provide clarification as we go through, so it should be great. Stack in the deck. Huh? <laughs> I'm still shuffling for shenanigans, so there's still horrible things in that deck that will kill me. Uh, there are promo cards in that deck that will, not, will annihilate my life, so... Uh, I'm just I'm just trying to set myself up for the best amount of success because you know earlier today I took a huge L in Marvel United so but that's okay. All right. Uh, before I begin, I want to say thank you to my patrons, my YouTube subscribers, and if you're neither, just coming in to hang out. Thank you and welcome as well. Um, we're gonna get some information and then we're gonna get right down to the table. All right. So Glenn and Kelfort. This game came out in 2017, and so. Uh, it's it's been fantastic ever since. <laughs> what's that? What's that make it six years old? Six year old six year old game. Uh, seven point five on Board Game Geek. One point eight thousand people rated it. Uh, the weight's about three point one one only because uh, people feel there's a lot of nuance. But once you get in, once you play the game for a while, you get it. If you're one who plays one game and then shelves it, then yeah, you're gonna be like, oh, this game's so hard, but it's not. It's not hard at all. It's pretty, it's actually really fun. Uh, I can't believe it's been out for that long. Yeah, yeah, it's been out six years. Uh, Zariel, what's going on? Hello, hello. Welcome, pull up a chair. Um, so, all right. Um, let's, Tristan did, did this wonderful design, and, and this art was done by Anya, and then published by Hall or Nothing Productions. And uh, this is a standalone quest adventure. There's another one called Shadows of Killforth, and one more that will be coming out, uh, I believe, later this year. Uh, if not early next year, that's called um, Call of Killforth, which has a lot of sea battles and things that are going on it, from what the, uh, Tristan described in the design uh, diary that he put out for everyone to check out. So it's going to be a good time, and we're going to have some fun. How about we get down to the table? All right, I flipped the map this time, because remember last time I used the other side, and people were saying, well, it's double-sided, we want to see the other side. So I flipped the map. To this side, which is a little bit brighter, but that's okay. You can still see the beautiful art that lands on here. It's just completely gorgeous, to be honest with you. And so the land of Killforth is amazing. Is just amazing. So um, let's talk about the character. <laughs> so jealous of this Matt. You should. I, I. He sometimes gets them back in the store. So you just have to keep your eye on the Hall or Nothing Productions uh, website. And when it pops up, you gotta grab it because they go fast. But it's a it's a double sided mat, um, and they are and both has beautiful imagery on it. Yeah, hey board game officer, what's going on? Yeah, the other side I prefer the other side to this only because it's darker, so it shows up better on stream. Um, but this side, but I know every everyone like every other stream I've done has has used the other side, so I'm just gonna use this side for this stream. But if you feel it's too bright, I can flip it. it. Um, so it should be good. It should be good. Hey Greg, what's going on? What's going on? So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Greg, also, thank you so much for the super chat in the last video when I signed off. So thank you so much, and thank you for wishing me happy an early happy birthday. Uh, so, okay, uh, let's find out the character that we're going to be playing with. I am using the Half Demon. So this is my character that I'll be playing. Uh, she has 
was that I managed to get everything due to land uh, due to land later when Call of Duty 4 fun. Oh, that's sweet, Azario. I'm so glad that you're gonna get it. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday, Jess. Tomorrow. <laughs> so that's why I'm not streaming tomorrow. But then I'll be streaming Thursday and Friday, Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, yeah, tomorrow is it. So my, hey, Kanji, can't stay long, but want to say good luck. Greg at Solo Playthroughs did a run of Gloom as well. You may all be twisting my wallet soon. Yeah, I was on Greg's stream when he did the, uh, on Solo Playthroughs when he did that. Um, so I was on there chatting with him, which is really cool. Yeah, thank you, Jess. Thank you so much. Thank you. So our half demon, um, who has three fight, three study, one sneak, and three influence, starts with four health just like everybody else, and starts with one gold just like everybody else. Uh, but her stats are different. Um, but I chose these stats. She is half demon, so she has the demon keyword. And um, her hero ability that is just innate is heretic. Add plus one to your tested attribute value in each test against the demon. So if, if any creature I'm facing has the demon keyword, when I test against them, I roll an extra die. That's what the plus one means. It doesn't mean you get an auto success. It means you get plus one extra die um, to roll against them, which is fabuloso so that is our half demon that we'll be playing of course you know i gotta sleeve this beautiful art and her um her class is going to be the soldier so this will be her class the soldier uh and she will automatically get a plus one um to fight and a plus one to influence for this <laughs> And her class, so she has the keyword Marshall as well. So she has the keyword Demon and Marshall. Woohoo! So um, as a hero, innate ability, once again, this is a continually, on, continually ongoing effect, is Bounty. Whenever I defeat an enemy, I gain one gold. I don't have to veil this card, which means those abilities are never lost to me. So uh, she is a half-demon soldier that is going against all the crazy and it should be fun. Jess, thank you so much for the super chat. Happy birthday. Keep up the great work in providing us with great content. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, so our uh, saga is going to be the Dragon Horde. So. Wealth and untold... Uh, Dragon's Horde. Saga Chapter 1. Wealth and untold riches have long been the focus of tales involving dragons. But only recently have these tales begun to resonate with truth. The mountains are terrorized by a mad worm which stalks all kinds of prey. You begin your search for this dragon by seeking its prey yourself and gathering rumors of its whereabouts from friendly natives. So to complete this, uh, to complete this chapter, I need to spend five gold and perform a regale action. So there's a set amount of, there's a set number of actions that you can do. One of them is called a regale which is basically completing, uh, all it is, is completing your chapter. That's what the action is. And, but I need to contribute to this. I need to contribute the keywords mountain, enemy, and since it's one to two player, since I'm playing true solo, ally. So mountain, enemy, and ally are the keywords that I'm going to have to contribute to this check. So that is what I've got. Our ancient that we're going up against is going to be the Deacon of Betrayal. He looks fun, right? He looks like someone that you want to have with you at a party. Yeah. Yeah, you'll get a lot of friends hanging with this guy. So the Deacon of Betrayal, he's go when, we, when we fight him, he's going to roll eight dice against us. He, I believe he is the strongest character in the base game. So he's going to roll eight dice against us. He has nine health to start, but that can go up based on other criteria that will come out as we play the game. The Deacon of Betrayal usurps the minds of his victims, turning brother against brother with his evil trickery and growing stronger as they suffer. So he will spawn in barrel more when it's time, and he is an ancient class. He straight up, com he straight up comes from Mordor. <laughs> he does, and if we defeat him, we get 10 gold. But, you know, the, we also win the game. But, you know, however it goes. He does look like he straight up comes from Mordor. Oh, look. Look at that lovely keyword he has there. Demon. Guess what I get to roll as a half demon? An extra die against him. I picked my characters well. <laughs> All right. So he is going to be our ancient. 
let's take a look at our ancient's ability. When our ancient comes out, let's take a look at our ancient ability. So, uh, Deacon of Betrayal ability. So as soon as the as soon as we we do a deed assault, and I want people to say like they think about uh, I've been to Deacon of Betrayal's house on the hill. <laughs> Um, when people talk, when we talk about deeds, deeds are basically, attribute them to free actions. Deeds are, a deed is a free action. Deed assault is a free action to assault the ancient. So, um, this map, as soon as battle ensued, this map trap triggers. And if for whatever reason this deacon runs away, whenever we move back to deed assault again, the map trap triggers. It's a map trap. It keeps going. But when, as soon as we ch take the assault action, we have to sacrifice an ally if we have one in, as an asset. Sacrifice means if you have an asset, you get rid of them. Asset means in play area, not in hand as a rumor. So uh, Deacon of Betrayal gains plus one maximum and current HP for each stranger in play. So as many strangers are left when we need assault, he'll get some more health. When a, battle, when a battle round starts, each hero rolls one less die than the previous battle round. So he's basically going to take away all our dice until we die. And then HP damage stays on Deacon after battle. So if we ever have to deal with, um, if he ever, if we ever, the deed assault ends and he moves or does something, trick, uh, something tricky, the damage will stay on him instead of rolling off. On the night phase, when a plane's location falls in the gloom, it, we will reveal a random plot from the plot from the deacon's plot deck and put it on that location that fell in the gloom. And um, when we're assaulting him in the night phase, he will heal one HP. And with Tahiti, I must go to rehearsal. Good luck, happy birthday, and see you later. Later, Brian. <laughs> later, later. All right. So this is his ability. That'll go here. Then we grab his plot cards. There are six of them because there are six planes locations. Uh, so we will shuffle these up. And then we will put these at the plot side. Sweet. And let us get our location shuffled. These are the tarot cards that come with the Pimp Your Gloom uh, expansion. So if you get the Pimp Your Gloom expansion, you'll get the big tarot cards. And, uh, if you don't, and you don't want them, that's okay. You don't need you don't need them because the base game comes with the cards that you need. It's just these are bigger. That's all. If you want bigger cards, this side goes. All right. Let's build the land of K-Forth. K K-Forth. <laughs> Kelforth. Dead Swamp. Uh, Green Meadows. We're going to go over here. And I'm just randomly placing. There's no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. A lot of plains over there. A lot of mountains over here. Oh, there's a mountain there. Forest. Uh, I don't want a plane. I don't want all the planes together. That would be crazy. Uh, put that there. Spire Tour is going to go there. That's going to go there. 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 Sure, why not? And you'll go here. You'll go here. Here. And just like that, the land is built. There we go. The land of Kilforth is built with the sprawl with Sprawl City in the center. So as you can see, Sprawl City's in the center, and our characters start in Sprawl City. This is upside down. <laughs> All of these are upside down. Anyway, I'll flip them as I come to them because they're gonna drive me crazy. Okay, so yeah, a lot of these are upside down. I must have been on something. There we go. World makes sense again. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and begin. You start off not hidden, four health, four actions, four fate, one gold. Um, these are my targeting. Now, in this game, when you go, when you get loot from the loot bag, not no, there is no rhyme or reason to what I'm doing. <laughs> Truth bomber alert. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hello, Dan. Uh, <laughs> so um, when you get loot from the loot bag, you can only have six, up to six uh, that stay with you. Otherwise, you got to discard any extra or choose one to discard. And when you have assets, which means there are no longer rumors in your hand, you can only have six. Anything else you have to get rid of. As well as if you notice any stars, that means keyword, but we'll get into that as we play. So um, I need to choose two rumors to start my journey. 
I can go for an ally or I can go for an item. Well, I need enemy, ally, and mountain. So because I need those, I shuffle up the ally deck. I'm gonna draw two allies, pick one, and go find that ally. There is no rhyme or reason to what I do. I don't know, I don't know, I'm insane. <laughs> uh, what's the spell doing in there? Oh, another spell in here too. See, this is what happens when you have no rhyme or reason to what you do. All right, is there any other spells in here? Nope, okay. I play this game way too often. <laughs> That's what it is. All right, so we're getting two allies. Let's do it. Ally number one. And ally number two. I'll shuffle the decks as I need them. So let's see what our first ally is. Our first ally is a Lucka Healer, which would give me plus one influence and gives me the pious keyword. When the night phase ends, heal one damage. And I have to go to the rising bluffs, which is right here. To discover, discover you. The other ally is an acrobat. Which will give me plus, is that plus? Yeah, plus one, uh, oh, you can't see it fully. Plus one uh, to sneak and gives me the shadow keyword. So, uh, Veil, gain one move AP. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the healer because that just sounds more fun. So we just shuffle this back in the deck. And the healer will be my rumor. Look at all these rumors. What is this? What is all this about birthday business in this chat? <laughs> uh, at our age, birthdays are optional. Yeah, it, it's just the less dust that I gather. That's all. The more dust I've gathered. So this will be in my hand as a rumor, um, which we'll put our rumors over here. So we'll have them there for right now. I, I got my eye on it. Rising Bluffs is where I need to go. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So my first action, I'm going to hide because it's just what you do. And then uh, my next action, I'm going to move. Here's my perform to go to the Lava Canyon. No, I'm gonna move the Barrel more, which is a Plains. We go to the Plains deck. <laughs> Non-birthday is my motto since 2014. Is it a very un un birthday? Is that what it's? Is that what uh, Alice in Wonderland calls it? A merry un birthday. All righty, shuffle up the plane stack. Let's bring the pain of the plane stack. All right. So, boop. What are we dealing with? We are dealing with an event that says weakest hero perform an influence three tests. If we pass, we gain an item. What gain an item means is that you gain it as an asset and can put it into play immediately. So my influence is actually four. So I roll four dice. And just to let y'all know, I am using um, my variant of fours or partial successes. I do that all the time. So um, not just fives and sixes, fours or partial successes. So let's go on over here. Let's see how we do. I'm just about to roll dice and you want to wish me good dice rolls? What's wrong with you, Dan? What's wrong with you? <laughs> here we go. One, two, three. Oh, Dan wished me serenity on dice rolls. Thank you, Dan. So um, I need to pass an influence test three. I did, and therefore I get to gain an item as an asset. Woohoo! Oh, snap! <laughs> so let's shuffle the item deck and gain my free item. Please, item, don't have the keyword pious. <laughs> that will make me sad. <laughs> it's because Dan cares about me. That's what it is. He doesn't like to show it often. Dice are already broken. <laughs> the dice are already broken. 
<laughs> hacks, hacks. Uh, I was playing D&D &D last night, and one of my players put in chat, it says, uh, NPM uninstall Kanji's, uh, Kanji's cheat roller. <laughs> uh, gosh. That, that, that made, that gave me a good laugh. All right. <laughs> so, what's the item that I gain? The item I gain is... Ooh, a potion! Remember when I was looking for this for like 10 turns, Jess? <laughs> so, I gained the poison potion, Deed Sacrifice. When an enemy loses one or more HP, defeat that enemy straight out. I don't have to go find this. This immediately goes into play as an asset for me because I gained it due to that. Cool, I'm still hidden. I'm still hidden. Um, let's head next over to the open heath and draw this card. What do we got? We've got a giant statue. <laughs> There's the potion it does exist. So a giant statue. Uh, let me shove this over a little bit. It's a place, a dungeon, and planes. So sorry for the green mess ups. But I can try to uh I can try to overcome this. So basically I can do a uh study test where I need five successes or a sneak test where I need four successes. I only have one action left before the end of the day. So moving into a rising bluffs location will probably be what I end up doing. And I'm gonna leave this as a safe spot, so I'm not gonna go against this right now. Um because I'm going to fight the thing as soon as I get there. So that's going to be there. I have one action left. Eh. I'm going to move into the Rising Bluffs. <laughs> We're going to do this. There's no shy play in the day. But this ought to be fun. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. So if a specific creature comes out, I'm going to be angry. <laughs> I'm going to be very unhappy if a specific creature comes out. But we're going to believe that it's not. Believe in the heart of the cards! Dang it, I was almost there too! Almost! Almost. Hey, Jason, what's going on? But you're hidden at least. Yep, so a zombie comes out. Look at his weakness, pious. Guess what I'm trying to get? I'm trying to get the healer down to get the pious keyword, and I don't have it. That makes me sad. He's going to roll one die against me, um, but he has four health, and I'm going to roll for my fight four dice against him. So we're going to do this. I have sneak attack, which means I'm going to add... One more die for one round. He's going to roll one die against me. And we're going to try to kill this guy because he has the enemy keyword that I need. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so let's do this. Dan, quick, say something nice about me. <laughs> Here we go. So I rolled a five, 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 and two fours, and he rolled a one. So he doesn't hit me. Remember, fours are partial successes, so two fours makes one success. So this is one, two, three, and four. One shot! <laughs> oh, yeah! One shot, one shot, one kill. So he is dead. I take him out. Now I need... <laughs> Holy cow, Batman. Now I need uh, enemy and mountain, so I'm actually going to hang on to him as a rumor. And uh, I'm going to go to the loot bag because he would just give me one, uh, one goal for beating him. So I'm going to the loot bag. <laughs> My arsenal for compliments for you is sadly empty. No, Dad. You must compliment me. Gods demand it. I am going to get an axe that says uh, plus one fight for one battle round. I'm okay with that, and I'm no longer hidden. So I'm all right with that. So there we go. That's going to fill that slot. I am out of actions. This was a pretty good round, and that ends my day. So let's go ahead and shuffle the night deck and let the pain begin. I mean, the fun begin, right? Right? Fun. Big, big fun.
I'm not a good card shuffler, so you can tell I am not good, <laughs> not good at it. All right, cool. Let's begin the night phase. So our night card will be. I'm not even looking at it. Of course, it's pelting hail. Of course it is. Why not? So pouring rain weather when breaking camp, each hero with two or more AP loses an AP. This is why the this is why the rolls were good because this is stuff's happening. So this is a weather effect, which means it stays into effect, and the rolling hills at the bottom falls into the gloom. Rolling hills is over here, so this is gonna fall into the gloom. It is not a plains location, so that's a thing that happened. Find a really good deal on Chronicles of Dronagor. Oh, cool! Congrats, congrats. That's a weather card that's ongoing, um, and when when we're breaking camp, it's pouring rain, so I lose an AP. So I'm down to three. Uh, my first thing I'm going to do is spend an action to discover this lovely, lovely healer and put that in as an asset. So when night phase ends, I heal. So that, that means that it, it happens before breaking camp when the night phase ends. So there's night phase, break, dawn phase, which is breaking camp. And it'll, it'll heal right before dawn phase, so that means I'll gain an HP, which means I'll gain an AP. Alrighty, so. Cool, I've got Pius down now with the creature that I needed Pius for gone. I'm going to hide. And then my last action of the day is I'm going to search in the mountain location for another mountain card. Just going to take these out, and what do we got? I'm not even looking. You're going to see it when I see it. I've got an enemy mountain humanoid brigand. When an engagement starts, you may pay one gold to evade the brigand and skip the engagement. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, he's got two health. No. So he's got two. He's going to roll three dice against me. I'm going to roll, because I'm hidden, I would roll four, but because I'm hidden, I'm going to roll... One more for the first round. And I'm going to use that potion to kill him if I can. So a lot of people ask the question. Let me pause here before I roll these dice. A lot of people ask the question, well, what if you, why, why get rid of it if you need I, the keyword item or potion um, on here? If you need that for your, fa for your other sagas. So you can choose to either, what I like to do is I don't like to look, but if you want, you can flip and look at the different stuff to see if that's what you want to use or if that's not what you want to use so you could plan your story. There's no rule in the game that says that you can't look at the next chapter or read all the chapters or read what you're going to get. It's just I like to do it for a thematic sake just to see what's going to happen. So let's, uh, let's not do that and see what's going to happen. So I rolled one, two... Three successes, and he rolled one against me. So I hit him for three. How much health do you have, jerk? How much health does he have? Two! I kill him! <laughs> so he's dead. So he is dead. He had two health, but he did hit me, so I'm going to take one damage. So I take one damage, but I got no actions left, and I'm going to heal that back because of my healer. So win-win. Um, I'm going to take him in my hand as a rumor because I need that for... Uh, so I have enemy... I have Mountain, and I have Ally. I have everything to regale, save for money. So that's going to end um, my turn. Yep. And I'll go to Loot Bag. Maybe there's four gold in the Loot Bag. I just got done watching one of your videos, Officer. Nice. So let's see. What do we got? We got... Spell, uh, plus one to study for one test. Cool. It would have been nice if you gave me four gold. And why is it hot? I turned on the... Just checking the weather here. Let's go here. It is way too hot. Okay. That should start cooling down. Now. Okay, so... Um, where was I? Yep. So that happened um, at the... So now we're going to the night phase because I'm out of actions. So I will draw the night, next night card. And what do we got going? We've got an event. 
Civil war has befallen, has befallen Sprawl City, so Sprawl City falls into gloom. That doesn't mean we still can't go there and perform market, market actions. It just means if we end our turn there, we're going to take a damage. So Sprawl City has fallen. The Sprawl has fallen. And that will get discarded. That's an event. At the end of the night phase, because of this lovely, lovely ability here that says when night phase ends, heal. I, oh, <laughs> oh, damn. Ah, oh, oh, damn. Oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, breaking, so basically, I gain back all, and then when breaking camp happens because of pouring rain, I lose one. So, I have everything I need to regale. I just need to uh, get some money. Well, there's some money here. <laughs> Compare, <laughs> comparing 1.0 to 1.5. Hope you did not need the town anymore. Um, I can still go to it. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to spend an action to move here without hiding. But because there's already something there, I don't need to um, draw from the deck again. So we got what we needed. So then I'm going to go to... Um, let's see, my sneak is one. My study is three. So I'm going to spend an action to encounter um, that. And I only roll three dice. So let's see, I need, I need five successes. So let's hope this works. The cards laid out in this game kind of remind me of the board of talisman. Are you moving from card to card and we start the game in real, uh, and really pretty art. Yeah, yeah, pretty art. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, I've never played talisman, but I've heard people say that the arts, the art, the art in that is pretty as well. I got one success. So I got one success. Uh, but one success on on the giant statue. So I put one success on there. I'm gonna spend my last action to try it again. So let's try it one more time. Three. I got one success and a partial success. So it's just two successes I got total out of five that I needed. Unfortunately, that's not enough, and I'm out of actions because of the stupid pouring rain. So um, that is going to end my day. My days are getting wasted. I probably need to go to another location. This is, this is not going to work. So at the end of the day, anything that you didn't finish clears. It does, the successes don't stay on them. They are removed except for ancients. So then we'll draw the knight. Probably going to move to the Blessed Grove and see what I find there. Oh, look, the weather's changing. You say yes. You say yes. But it says freezing snow. Uh, revealed. Place one obstacle at each location for each quest it has. There are no quests out. Uh, when a quest, but when a quest enters play, you're going to place an obstacle on it, and the dark mire falls into gloom. Dark mire. Dark mire is up here. So the dark mire falls into gloom, and it's not a plains location. But at least we got rid of uh, losing an action every round with the stupid rain. So there we go. So freezing snow takes in. Uh, we get back all our AP this time. And this time... So this time we'll do my first actions I'm going to hide. My second action, let's go to the Blessed Grove. It's five successes. I can't swing that right now. But I need money. <laughs> I need a lot of money. Like this is all this is the only thing stopping me from um regaling is I need five gold and I've only gotten one. So I need to find stuff, kill stuff, get money. So okay, sorry, I will no longer use the voice to type because it's not making sense. How are you interacting with the cards that are laying out in front of you in the game gloom? Are you moving? Yes. Um, I don't know if you could see it. Uh, there is an a you can spend an action to move. So everything you do in this game is an action. So if I'm gonna move from this location to this location because this is my character right here then I need to spend an action to an action point to move. When you start the game, you start off with four action points. 
Breeze like Snog I've had enough of the mint so to get the out of here. <laughs> so hopefully that answers your question. I have to spend an action point to do you have to spend an action point to basically do anything but a deed. And when I find a card that'll would let me deed, I will show you what that does. So there we go. Alright. Okay. All right, let's see what the, what the forest holds. So like I said, you'll probably see it before me. So we've got a place respite. Okay, this is something a little bit better. So it's two study or two sneak and trophy relocate to any location I want if I beat it. I can, I can relocate, I may. I don't have to. So that will go on this location as a place. And then I'm going to spend, I see an upside down card where? Don't tell me that, this? Ugh, why do you do these things to me, Jess? Let's see. <laughs> I'm gonna fix them all, all of them. Yeah, I think I got them all. I think I got them all. I think I got them all. <laughs> I can't help it on some CD. Uh, you shouldn't tell me that. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna torture you for that. So um, then our next, my next action is I'm going to confront this. Um, I remember I roll three and I just need two successes. So let's give it a shot. I got one success in the partial, so that's one success. I'm actually going to now spend a fate because I want my other action. I'm going to now spend a fate. So I'm going to use one of my four fate to make that second one a success. So it basically turns this one into a six. Woohoo! So got it. Defeated. It only gives me one goal, which I'm not thrilled about. Really not thrilled about that. Nope. I'm going to get, instead of keeping this card, I'm going to get the title. Um, so I'll show y'all what that means in a second. Because I know a lot of people will be like, what? What are you talking about? How are you able to get a title? Why are you going to that deck? Who are you? Why are you even streaming? What is your name? I can answer all I can answer almost all those questions. Alright. Uh, are those cards in front of your of you locations? I am making a map. Is there multiple card stacks doors at one card per square? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. This is the map of Killforce. So yes, this is the map. These are encounters. These are rewards. This is the ancient. That's the night deck. And this is me walking around the map. Yes. All right, Greg. Uh, okay, heading out uh, of the office for the day. We'll. Pick back up from the car. We'll try and not to text on the road. Do not do that. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, it's not always only one. Uh, in terms of locations, there's only one card per square location, but multiple things could be on one location. So I just defeated this with two successes because you see the study that says two. It means I can either do two, two study tests. I can, do two, I can do a study test, but I need two successes to pass, or I can do a sneak test, and I need two successes to pass. Well, I rolled a six, and then I spent a fate, and you have four fate that you start, and one of them makes it an auto success. So that means I got two successes, which means I defeated it. Um, when you defeat it, you then look uh, at the bottom, and you say, okay, you see that green symbol that's barely getting obscured by my green screen? That's a title. So you can say, I can either keep this card specifically in my hand as a rumor, or I can draw a card randomly from the title deck and keep that in my hand as a rumor. Because I don't need Place, Respite, or Forest, I am going to draw from the title deck, which is what I just shuffled. Then, after doing that, I then determine, do I want to get one gold, or do I want to go to the loot bag? Because one gold doesn't really do much for me, I'm going to go to the loot bag, where there are bad things in the loot bag. But I'm looking for the good stuff. I'm looking for the good stuff. And the loot gives me... Um, boots plus one sneak for one test. So that's it. Then because I didn't take this card, uh, because I didn't take this card, this card gets discarded uh, to the forest discard, but I did shuffle and I will be drawing a title card from the title reward deck. And that title 
is Tristan. That's what Tristan looks like. The title is Knight, and it has the title and rank. Okay, pause. Do you see that star next to the word rank? That means that I can only have one asset, not rumor, asset in play, uh, which means down, down on the board. I can only have one asset in play with that keyword on it. It can have 10 billion other keywords on it, but if that keyword shows up, I cannot put it down as an asset or I have to replace that one and replace it with the new one that I have. But it's in my hand as a rumor and I need to go to Barrowmore uh, to discover it and Barrowmore is right next door, which is very awesome. So I will do that. And if I do make it an asset, uh, it says when you defeat a quest, gain one gold, sweet. Oh, oh my gosh. That reminds me, I've been playing all sorts of crazy. Remember my lovely, lovely ability? And I beat two enemies too. I want you to remember my soldier skill, because this happens too. You gotta pay attention to your cards. My soldier skill has bounty. Whenever you defeat an enemy, I gain one gold. I should have had two gold already because I defeated the zombie and I defeated the brigand. So I should have two gold from that. And I did not remember. So there you go. Okay, so I should have three gold, which means if I'd taken the other two gold, I would have been able to regale already, but you know, you know how I do. All right, finally, I'm going to end my turn by moving back down to the open heath because I want to discover the neck, the knight uh, title. Hey, Kate, what's going on? And literally, I just played this combo on Sunday. <laughs> All right, so that ends my turn. That's all I got. There's no uh, quests in play. So meh, let's draw the next night card. The Rosen Knights. Sir Beauregard Lee ranked amongst uh, the bravest of the Knights of the Rose. So if you play um, Shadows of Killforth, you get to play a Rosen Knight or um, another faction, which is great. So this is an event. Discard an enemy from play when this is revealed. There are no enemies in play, and the Rising Bluffs falls in the gloom, which is this location. So boom, boom. And it's not a plane, so a plot card doesn't come out. But uh, the gloom is kind of like your, it's your timer. So that Knight card goes there. Uh, it's, there's no quests in play. We're doing okay. We lose hidden. You always lose hidden at the beginning and when breaking camp. Always, always, always. All right, so I'm going to spend an action to hide, and then I'm going to go on head over to Barrowmore, and I'm going to draw this dude. <laughs> so this dude is a gentleman. He is a gentleman. His weakness is order. That means that if I had the keyword order as an asset, right now I have demon, martial, potion, and pious. If I had the keyword order, I can do what's called a deed overcome and just win. Like for free. I just beat him. For free. Now, he is a gentleman, but since I don't have that, he have that, he has the keyword stranger, noble, and plains. If uh basically I can try to influence him over to my side, and if I do that, then if I'm successful, I need three successes. So you see the the head, which is the influence, the bottom, the blue one. If I am able to do that, then I win him. And what I get to do is I get to either choose him or pick an ally, choose one goal, or go to loot back. If, uh, if on my first roll, on my first roll, if I do not roll any successes, on my first roll, if I don't roll any successes, he immediately becomes an enemy to me. And, he, and we have to fight. And he will roll three dice or, and have three health to fight. But I'm not dealing with him right now. He is on that location. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to spend an action to discover my knight. Yay! So now I have the keywords demon, martial, item, potion, ally, pious, title, and rank. <laughs> so this is this is looking pretty decent. Um, I should beat you. I should try to influence him, huh? I roll four dice and I need three successes. Sure. Spend an action and try to tell this, you know, I'll go up to him and I'll just say, hey, look, look. We're both gentlemen. Right? Right? 
And that's all I'm going to say to him. It's like, come on. Come on. <laughs> so I rolled, I rolled one success. It's going to end my day, but I at least rolled one success, which means he won't become an enemy. But because it was my last action, um, that one success is going to fall off. If I use a fate, it would be two, but remember, I need three successes, and I was hoping for two. Ah, well, that's how it goes, but at least he doesn't become an enemy. So that ends my day. My day's over. And I would have to come out to Hidden to, to deal with him. And I don't get to roll an extra, extra die when I'm Hidden. That's only on enemies. So, night card. Yep, I'm good. The Spawning Pit! Play, this is a place abode revealed. Place this at the Lava Canyon. Matt, when night begins, each hero at this location loses one HP in addition to the gloom loss. So if you stop at the Lava Canyon for any reason, uh, you'll take two damage until this is defeated and it has three gold on it, which I probably might head over to that. I need money to regale. Like, I'm, I'm wasting time here. It's not a planes location, so and it's not a quest, so I don't have to worry about it. I get all this back. And start a new day. Look how fast I'm running through this game. Isn't that crazy? So um, I'm not going to waste time with that guy. He's not enough money. So I'm going to spend an action to hide. I'm going to spend another action to move over to the Barren Waste. So we're going to Badlands. Shuffle the Badlands deck. So we're going to Badlands. And Badlands is full of... The mountains is the worst place to go. There, That has the most monsters. Badlands is the second. It has horrible... Horrible things. <laughs> uh, Badlands is the second worst. With in Shadows of um, Killforth, the, the life form is in the forest. So if you got the promo card, the life form, it's in the forest, and it is the worst card you could possibly face. It's awful. It doesn't like you, and it wants to kick your face in. <laughs> All right. Gotta run. Happy birthday, you filthy animal. Kudos and well wishes to you. Hey, D all right, Dan, have a good one. <laughs> Kate is here, so I have to bail. She scares me. She is a cultist leader, so now there's that. She does reside in the cosmic void. <laughs> Whenever we're planning on our um on our uh Arkham Horror playthroughs. We always have to do UK time, which is where Cynthia is, uh, Eastern Standard Time, which is where I am, and CVT, Cosmic Void Time, which is where Kate lives. <laughs> All right, so what are we dealing with here? Hey, look, a terrible thing. <laughs> a terrible, terrible thing. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> Uh, so it will roll five dice against me. Uh, I could sneak past it for a one. It's an enemy, demon, and badlands. Well, because I have surprise, I would roll five dice against it for the first round. But I don't wanna. I, I don't wanna. I, 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 I don't wanna. I, I don't wanna do it. So, uh, it will sit. And this one is not a hunter, even though it looks like something from Arkham Horror. It does not have the keyword hunter on it. But it has a trap on it that says sacrifice one spell. I'm not going to do that. I'm not interested. I don't have a spell to, to sacrifice, so eh. Um, but I am going to, um, I need to, so as, let me make sure I, let me make sure I tell you this right, because this is part of engagement. So when an engagement happens, which means the creature comes out, I'm hidden so it doesn't gain surprise on me. Can't jump anywhere. Um, what I can do is I can evade it. So as an evade, without doing an I can take an evade. So I'm going to try to evade this creature. I just need one success to evade. And my evade is one die. That's it. But I'm going to use these boots that's going to give me a plus one to sneak, which is what I'm trying to do. So I get another die. I'm going to pass this test no matter what because I'm going to fade it to get out of here. But just in case I don't, I don't want to use a fade, let's roll a die and try to evade. So it would have been a fail, which means it would have gotten a surprise on me. But I'm using a fate because I'm going to succeed on that because fighting that thing is stupid. So I evaded it and now it is searching for me sniffing around in the, in the swamp, but I'm long since gone. So I'm going to spend an action to keep on moving <laughs> to get out of there. Um, where do I want to go? 
I can move to Barrow Moor from here, which isn't too bad. I can spend an action to do that. I don't want to stop here or else I'll take two damage, which isn't great. So maybe I might not go there. Tell you what, let's go up to, let's go down to the green uh, meadows. Let's go there. Let's go to the plains. Okay. Another stranger. What ho, stranger. And I, and it's, a, uh, oh, look at that. Oh. oh, I don't have to spend an action. Let's understand why. Let's read this card. He rolls three dice if he, if this is a stranger, so he's not an enemy yet. But if he is an enemy, he'll roll three dice. And if he is an enemy to evade him, I would need to uh, roll, I need to get one success to evade. But if I want to influence him to my side, I only need one success to influence him. So let's go down this card. He has three health. He has the keyword Stranger Noble in Plains. And, but look at that Matt Weakness. Matt Weakness Marshall. Well, 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 look at my keyword. Marshall! So I can do a deed overcome. Deed means free action to overcome. And I defeat this card straight up. I don't have to face it. I don't have to spend an action. I'm just good. And I can gain an ally or keep this card. I'm going to gain an ally. And I can gain one gold or um, go to loot bag. I'm going to go to loot bag and discard you. So I'm going to gain an ally. The ally I gain as a rumor is... Oh, you gave me the arcane keyword. I like that. So uh, it will give me... Do you get the gold from your ability? No, because I did not defeat him. I overcame him. I didn't defeat him. So no, I do not. Um, take an enemy. So uh, once a, this card, I need to go to Dark Mire to get it. And it says Deed Sacrifice. Take an enemy from a discard pile and put it into play at any non-city location. Um, and that's a Deed Sacrifice, which means I'd be getting rid of the card. I, I, this card actually has four gold, which is what I need. I'm going to be heading to Sprawl City next on my next turn. So this is going to go in my hand so I can sell that bad boy. Um... <laughs> And uh, I went to the loot bag. So no, I do not get the gold. Come on, just give me two gold. That's all I want. Two gold. Come on, Papa. I got ale. Uh, I gained one confront AP. So very important thing with these tokens. All right, let me pause here for one second to explain another rule that a lot of people get wrong. So what, what a lot of people usually do is that they'll say, oh, look, this says this gives me one confront AP. So I'm just going to spend this. I'm going to take my action, and then I'm going to spend this to do the free confront AP. That's not how this works. This thing says that you gain the AP. It doesn't say that you get to use it. <laughs> so if you've already spent your action for that round, you do not. You can spend this to gain a confront AP. So give yourself a... a, a this thing and put it on the confront, uh, you know, on that confront token, but you don't get to spend it until you have an action to spend it on. So keep that in mind. Just because it says gain one confront AP does not mean you get to use it. Now, if you if you haven't used your action yet and you have this, then sure you can say I'm going to gain the confront AP and then I'm going to use the confront AP. So this is a deed to gain it, but then you need to spend the AP to use it. Does that make sense? So. Just keep that in mind. When you see something that says gain an AP, it doesn't mean that this, this is a free thing that you get to do whenever you want. Okay. That's awful. I don't want to fight that ever. Um, and I won that guy for free. And I need to get the Sprawl City so I can regale. So I'm going by means of Lost Forest. Which is my last action. Clear as mud. <laughs> if y'all need me to break it down, I can. Like, that's why I said, ask me any questions that you have. A stranger in the forest. He's a stranger with the villain keyword and forest keyword. When you fail an influence test, sacrifice one title. No, sir. But he is a stranger, which means he won't attack me. Uh, and I can end my turn here feeling safe. Another thing to keep in mind is that when you see this board start getting these things on it, don't panic, okay? This actually provides a safe walking space to where you don't always have to draw cards. 
So as you can see, I moved here. So now this is a stranger. This is a stranger. They won't attack me. And when I move into their spaces going forward, I don't have to face... Uh, I don't have to um, draw a card because there's already a card present. So I've made myself a clear walking path to Sprawl City, basically, so that I can sell that card, regale, and then move back to the safe location and end my day. See how it works? All right. So that ends my day. Um, let's go ahead and draw our night card. We've got Orc Raiders. Their enemy. Um, place this enemy at the Wretched Bog, and a Wretched Bog falls in the gloom. Wretched Bog, which is over here. That's going to fall in the gloom. And then these get placed there. Uh, it is not a planes location, which scares me, which means planes are going to start chaining, which is bad. Um, but it's not a planes location, so we're all good. Okay. I get all this back. I fall out. This time I don't need to hide because I have a safe walking space to sprawl. One action to move. One action to move. One action to do a market action. And that market action, I'm going to sell this. <laughs> I'm going to sell this for, um, and when you sell a card, I'll put this here. You see that gold price at the bottom? You sell it for its gold price halved rounded down. So I'm selling this for four gold, this rumor for four gold, but it's half of that. So I'm only going to get two gold, which is what I want anyway. So this will be discarded. I'm going to gain two gold, which is enough money to regale finally. Um, and... I could do a market, uh, in terms of market actions, um, I can, you could do all these as part of one market action, but you could only do, do each of them once. So I can't sell, buy something, and then sell again. I, I can only, in one, using one market action, I could buy stuff in any order I want. I could buy stuff, sell stuff, and spend one gold for one health each. So let's say I'm, I need four health. I could spend four gold to get four health. So, I, but I can't do, I'm going to buy something, sell something, buy something, or I can't do, I'm going to heal, sell something, heal. I can only do those three things once. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Better late than never. <laughs> so, um, end of my turn, I am going to lose my last action to regale. So, my regale action, I'm going to spend one, two, three, four, five gold. Regale action says that I will finish my saga, so I will. So I need to contribute the keywords needed. I need to contribute mountain and enemy. So if there are rumors in your hand, they get discarded. If there are rumors in your hand, they get discarded. And I've got mountain and enemy, so these two get discarded. And then I need the keyword ally. Well, I have a keyword ally as an asset. You do not have to discard those. You can if you want, and you will get their full gold price back. But you don't have to. So I'm going to keep my my healer because I'm going to need her for what I'm about to do. And then I regale. So then we go to chapter... So then we'll go to chapter 2. But before we do, we get to level up. So that means I'm going to get one more health. I'm going to get one more uh, exhausted AP. It's not an AP that you can use immediately when you regale. It's exhausted. And the next day you'll get it all back. And then I get to, I get two, uh, I, I choose one of the two level one abilities for my class, which is Marshall. So I can either choose Hunter, so Veil at a mountain location to heal one health, or I can choose this one, uh, Prize Fighter, Veil. After you roll dice during a fight test, reroll each die showing a one. Which one do you think I'm going to take? <laughs> Cause so I'm gonna take that, so that's my ability, and the other one's discarded from the game. So if you're playing two player and both of you are playing martial classes, the first person to level will get the ability of their choice, and the second person has to take the other ability. Okay, the other level one ability. Alright, let's continue with our story. Dragon's Horde, chapter two. You will need the backing and unity of the people of the Hinterlands if you are to succeed on your perilous adventure. The outlying villagers are terrified of the dragon and have already sought protection from their local champion. By force or reason, you must prove yourself more worthy of their support than their champion and demonstrate that you can protect them. I need to spend five gold and a regale action. I need a planes, a stranger, 
And an item. Oh, look, I've already got an item with this lovely potion. So <laughs> I got an item. I just need a planes and a stranger. Oh, look, there's a planes. Oh, look, there's a stranger. <laughs> so it kind of, it's kind of working out pretty cool. Uh, where did I put the sleeve for this? It feels weird not... Oh, here it is. It's on. So that is my next uh, thing to do. So that is next on the Dragon Horde quest. Cool. So um, I ended my day at a location that is in gloom, so I would lose a health. Then we're going to go to the night phase. Night phase says... Besiege City event. Heroes must pay one gold to move to or from Sprawl City until the end of the next day. That's unfortunate. To or from? I can't leave Sprawl City. <laughs> I've just wasted a day. I can't leave. So I'm trapped in Sprawl City. I have no money. So it says heroes must pay one gold to move to or from Sprawl City until the end of the next day. So, uh, I am stuck. I can't move. That's what you call, that, that boys and girls is what you call a wasted turn. And, uh, Baron Waste falls in the gloom. Which is this location. That is unfortunate, because I can't leave Sprawl City. At, before night ends, I heal one. Because of my healer. And then I get all my actions back. And I can't do anything. I have to end my day. Because <laughs> I can't leave. Due to that card. Oh, that was a lovely waste of a turn. All right. I can't do a market action. I can't do anything. I've got nothing. I really wish I had. The only way that you can get away is if you have um, a if you have a token, a loot token that says uh, deed to relocate to another location, which I don't have. So I'm stuck in Sprawl City. I can't do anything. So that ends my day. So I will lose one health, which means I'd lose, well, which means I'd lose one AP, right? Due to the light health loss. Let's go to the next day. Turn burn. That's what that's called. Turn burn. Uh, so the Abyssal Gate. Uh, place this at the Lost Force and the Lost Force falls into gloom. I'm very scared that there has not been any, um, any planes locations falling into gloom so far, which means they're all going to happen at the end. That is not cool. All right, so cool, 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 cool. Well, now uh, before the day ends, I'll heal. I will get my AP back for it. So it was just a loss of a turn. Um, I'm gonna spend my first action to. I need stranger and planes, huh? I want to go. Strangers are mostly found in. Let's um. Let's clear out Barrowmore. We'll clear out Barrowmore. So I'll move here. Yeah, this should be good. This should be good. And then I'll spend an action to try to influence this guy. My influence is three, four, five. So I roll five dice. Three, four, five. So if you're curious, you're like, what are you talking about? Three. Plus one, four, plus one for healer, five. So I roll five dice uh, to try to influence him, and I need three successes. If I fail on the first roll, he will become an enemy, and I will engage him. I got one, two, three. He's my buddy. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I need stranger, so I'm going to keep this, and it's just one gold, but I'm going to go to the loot bag. What does the loot give me? Potion. Heal one HP. One thing to keep in mind on this, I want y'all to remember this for later games that you play. If you ever need the keyword potion, that can be used for it. It is the keyword potion that it has. So it's potion and its ability is to heal you for one HP. So if you ever need the keyword potion and you have a potion, you have a token that says potion on it, you can actually use that token 
to to uh, match that keyword, but you have to discard it. You don't get to keep it. All right, so cool. I'm getting cool stuff and no money. And there are horrible things all around me. <laughs> so uh, heroes may perform one move action here to move directly to Lava Canyon. So I could come over here. I have three actions left. I can try. Ugh, do I even want to try that? No, I won't. I'm going to hide. I'm going to spend an action to move all the way over here. <laughs> and then I'm going to spend my last action to move the Great Plains. Let's see what the Plains has to offer. The Holy Church. The Holy Church. Heroes may perform rest actions here. Um, usually you can't perform a rest action at a location that has anything on it. So, but in this case, you can. So, but it has the planes keyword, and I only need a one success on a sneak, which is not that bad. Not mad at it. That is here, but that is all my actions, so I'm kind of done for the day. Hey, Matthew, what's going on? Um, so we go to the night phase. Let's see what we're dealing with. This is the one I hate. I hate, 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 hate this one. <laughs> so, Pelting Hail. Uh, when night begins, each hero who is not either hidden or at a location with a place, keyword, loses one health. And this is an ongoing effect. But it gets rid of the quest uh, nonsense. So that's an ongoing effect. Um, I am at a place so I'm not going to take damage, and I was hidden anyway. So it was either I need to be hidden or at a place location. So uh, it comes to my turn. I am going to... Um, I need the keyword for sure. So I got, I got um, stranger. I've got item. I just need planes and I need money. I probably should go try to take this thing out. I need four successes. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to spend an action. I'm not even going to hide. I'm going to spend an action to move up here. I'm going to spend another action to use study. I roll three dice, and I need four successes. That's no success. That's what no successes looks like. I'm going to spend another action to try it again. Oh, I just need to keep trying until I get one more action. <laughs> One, two, because those are partial successes. So I got two successes and I need two more. I'm going to spend one more action. So I have, I have one action left. So I'm going to spend one more action to try again. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's the four I'm looking for. So I defeat this. Uh, this is place and abode. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to take the money. I'm taking the three gold. That's just a thing. Um, I'm wondering if I want this. Or I'm, going to, I'm going to take the title instead. So I'm going to discard this and take the title. And this title rumor is... Dark Arts. Title. It has order. It has demon, but there's no star, so I can still get it. And if I go to the Misty Fens, I can find that. The Misty Fens are... All the way up here. I can find this. It'll give me a plus one to my sneak. Eh, I don't know if I'll do that, but it might come in for handy for a cool keyword. So that goes in my hand. And I have one more action left, to which I will move back down to this location. <laughs> and that will do me. That will do me good. So um, uh, that'll end my day. I probably should... St no, I don't want to lose health when breaking camp. Uh... Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's tomorrow. Thank you, though, ahead of time. So we have the Rosen Crusade for the Rose and for the free, Sir Gregor. Um, so Stranger Noble placed the Stranger at the Grand Plains. Ooh, and the Grand Plains falls in the gloom. This is a Plains location. I think that's where I was at the Grand Plains. I was at the Grand Plains. So the Grand Plains falls in the gloom. And when the Grand Plains falls into gloom, or when a Plains location falls into gloom, we draw a plot card, and a plot card gets placed on there too. So the plot card, so the plot thickens as we try to find this deacon. 
cultists of the betrayal. Deacon of betrayal, it's a stranger villain. A sinister cultist is trying to spread his beliefs to the uh, imp impressionable villagers. He promises them salvation if they repent their heathen ways and burn their own homes and all their possessions. Despite his fervor, you could put the cultists out of action with some simple combat maneuvers. Left unchecked, who knows what impact his poisonous words might have. To defeat him, I need to lose 2 AP. Um, and it says, action, so if I don't defeat him, and if I don't defeat him, I love this game so much, I think I might have to play it tonight. <laughs> and if I don't defeat him, when I, when I deed assault the ancient, the ancient, yes, I am a Pisces, the best kind, the best, uh, the ancient will gain this ability. When a battle round starts, each hero sacrifices an asset, which is bad. I don't want to do that. So, um, I need to defeat this thing, uh... Quick, fast, and in a hurry. So that is placed on here as well. So that's a full up area right there. Um, that will end the night phase. I get all my actions back. Well, what we're gonna do is the first things first, I'm going to lose two AP to overcome this nonsense. So this is gone. Um, so therefore, I so I lose two AP to beat this. This goes into my hand as a rumor, and I get to go to the loot bag. So I get the keyword uh, stranger. Wait, I got everything I need to regale. I just need gold. So if I get if I get two more gold, I can regale <laughs> because of that. So what did we get? Oh, buddy, regale action inbound. One, two, three, four gold. That's what I'm talking about that's what i'm talking about um after you get after you gain these i'm an aquarius you're always welcome in my waters that sounded weird <laughs> so um when you when you pull things out of the loot bag and you use them like the four gold you don't put them back in you put them off to the side and when the loot bag is empty you then take all those discarded tokens put them back in the loot bag and reshuffle so uh, that was two to get rid of that. I got it in my hand as a rumor, so you don't get that ability. I'm going to spend an action to regale. So one, two, three, four, five. A place, so there's no there's no enemies there, so therefore I can regale for free. So I spent, well, not for free, but I can regale. So I'm going to spend five gold, one action. I needed, um, I needed planes, stranger, and item. I have an item right here with the keyword. This is a stranger, and this is a planes card. So I will discard the planes card. I will discard this. So I'll put that over. Let me turn it sideways over that. And I completed my chapter two. Woohoo! <laughs> I put the good ones back in the bag when no one's looking. <laughs> so chapter two. Um, so I regaled. I completed chapter two. I will gain one health. And I will gain one exhausted AP to be used the next day. Um, I will then get to choose between two abilities for my level two. First ability. I can veil this. Deed veil, free action, exhaust to gain one move AP. Or I can raise my fight. I can raise my fight because he starts taking fight away from me. So I need to plot that properly. So there we go. So I leveled up. Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 are over. We are on Chapter 3. What does Chapter 3 say for our saga? Following local rumors, you must find the lair of an ancient worm and creep in on notice. Under the cover of a potent incantation. Once there, you may attempt negotiations with an individual who claims to be the dragon's mouthpiece. Or perhaps is the dragon in disguise. Or as an action... Uh, as an action, I can spend five gold, use a regale action, and I need the words place, spell, and stranger uh, to be able to complete this out. So that ought to be good. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. So I still have two actions left. My, my, I am not done. I am not done. So um, I can go for... I know I need to move away from this location... I think I will. I'll come back there in a little bit. What is your thing for how many what's in play? Strangers in play. 
You and you so far gives him two more health. I'll come back for you. I'll come back for you. So I'm going to hide. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I'm going to hide. And then I'm going to move into this green meadows location. Everyone, what level of sword and sorcery Ancient Chronicles is this? <laughs> I actually plan to get back to that very soon during uh, my, my, this, this weekend bonanza. Reveal, Weak, weakest hero may roll one die. If they do, uh, if I roll a one to three, I'll pay, th so I may roll, which means I could choose to do so. Um, if I do, I pay three gold for each gold unable to be paid, I lose a health, or if I roll a four to six, I get four gold. No, <laughs> I'm not gonna do this. You can kick rocks. Sorry, lady. Sorry. I only gamble with my life, never my money. And look, yeah, there will be more, there will be more sword and sorcery for sure. Hey, Raphael. <laughs> um, so I'm out of actions. I am hidden, so Pelting Hail will not uh, hit me. So let's go ahead and draw the night card. So the night card says, Blessed Grove, and this is a quest. Um, place this at the Blessed Grove. So the Blessed Grove falls in the gloom. Blessed Grove is... That's Lost Forest. Where are you, Blessed Grove? It's a forest location, so I just need to find... Here it is. Blessed Grove. Blessed Grove falls in the gloom. And this gets placed at the Blessed Grove. It is not a planes location, so no plot card. Uh, I don't know if I can navigate Gen Con by myself. It's quite the event. Jess, I'm going to Gen Con. If you go to Gen Con, you will not be by yourself. I, I, I guarantee it. Um, there's so many people from my Discord, from Rob's Gaming Table Discord, from so many other Discords that are going. Trust me, you will not be by yourself. So, um, we go, go, uh, if you want to go, go to Gen Con, and you'll be good. I promise you'll be good. Uh, yeah, Kill Force series is fantastic. It's my favorite game of all time, just to let you know. So I'm super biased. All right, so... Um, that ended, I was hidden, so, I, so Pelting Hail wouldn't hit me. I lose hidden, I gain all this back, and I begin my next day. Uh, how does it look? I don't, you gotta, you gotta give me a little bit more than that, because you're looking at it, right? What's that look? Alright, so, if I move, um, so, I'm not going up, I don't want to fight this thing. <laughs> Uh, but I need to find a spell, and spells are in bogs. I really don't want to fight that thing. I could use this. All I have to do is just hit him once, and then I can beat him. If I beat him, I get a gold. But I need both of these cards. Actually, this is more advantageous. I need both of those cards. I need Stranger, and I need Place, which is what both these cards have. So I'm actually going to spend an action to move back over to this location. Let's see if we can clear this out. I'm going to first try the Holy Church uh, with a sneak test. So I'm going to just roll one die on a sneak test. And I just need one success. I failed, but I'm going to use a fate. <laughs> so I'm going to use a fate, and that means I pass. So I got the one success I needed. I'm not trying to burn turns this round. Um, I need this card, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the loot bag. It's only one gold. I'm gonna go to the loot bag. Let's see if I can get get a three gold finder. That would make me super happy. I got a cloak. Gain one hide AP, which I'm probably gonna make use of when I start moving. Then I'm gonna try to influence that guy. Well, my influence is three, four, five. So two, four, five, and I need three successes. How does it play? Do we like it? What is it similar to? Um, it's an open sandbox game. It's an open sandbox world that's forever changing. Every time you play, the world is completely different in terms of card location. Um, there is a massive deck of encounters that uh, if you see the same encounter twice, 
it, it's probably you know if you you have a lot you have a, a a very low chance of seeing the same encounter twice until you play it as much as I have. Um, there's a, the same you know a large amount of titles uh, and uh, and items to get to build your character up, and you can mix and match classes and races to basically make your character as unique as you want it to. Um, enemy fighting, all of its dice rolling. It uses uh, at as rules is written. It uses the um, five six success system, but I have put in my own variant, which is fours or partial successes, and that's how I play. And so, um, other than that, the game is amazing. And what is it similar to? Any? I, I'm. I, I, the chat could probably tell you. For probably. Not. Uh, I see Gen Con is beginning of August. Is it always at the beginning of August? I work in high ed and that is the beginning. Yeah, it's always at the beginning of August. Yep. It's always at the beginning of August. So, influence time. I got one, two, partial success, partial success, three. So I got three, which is what I needed to convince you to be my friend. And uh, I'm going to take you in my hand. I'm actually going to take the two gold that you're offering. So I've got a stranger. I've got a place. And I just need a spell. This is actually pretty good. Oh, wait, wait. I did something weird. I moved. Oh, I wasn't taking my actions. I moved. I used an action to do that. And then I used my ale for what, for one confront AP. And then I used the ale to confront. So that's how I did it. So I only used two actions. All right. Now I'm going to use my cloak to gain a hide AP, and then I'm going to use that AP to hide. Then I'm going to start a walk-in. Um, I get the misty fence potentially, so let's let's start walking. And I draw a mountain card, and this is a quest. Forge of Power, if I beat it, I gain an item as an asset. But free, if I beat it. I'm going to come back to that. I will come back to this. So that goes here. I'm going to keep on walking. So I'm going to spend another action. Keep on walking, because I ain't talking to you. <laughs> well, I'm the director of technology across the entire system, so that wouldn't quite, <laughs> that wouldn't quite work. That means you own it. You could tell them that you're leaving. He's like, I'm going to Gen Con. <laughs> That's what you tell them. Uh, this is another quest. Uh, destroy Forest. Um, so it's the Thieves Guild. And that's what I have to roll. But it's a quest. It's not something that's... It's So I'm kind of making my path. <laughs> making my safe path, as I told y'all before. I'm going to spend another action to move up to Verdant Fields. And don't be something horrible. Don't be something horrible. Oh, look at that. Stranger Noble Plains. Weakness is pious. Oh, weakness is pious. Oh, buddy. Weakness is pious. Guess what this keyword is? Right here. Pious. So I will do a deed overcome on this cleric, and I'll say, you join me, because you're supposed to, and I will deed overcome and win this. I'm going to take the two gold. And I already have a place and a stranger. I just need a spell, so I'm going to grab an ally instead of taking you. I'm going to grab an ally. And the ally I get... Not bad. This, is, this one isn't actually bad. A mystic. So it will give me the arcane keyword. I have to go to the lost forest to find it, which is... It's lost. I can't find it. It's gone forever. Lost forest is here, where the abyssal gate is. So, uh, looks like I'm going to be going down fighting that creature. But this is in my hand as a rumor. I can actually sell it and get some good money. <laughs> so, that's good. Um, I'm so close to the Misty Fence, but I got one action left. If an enemy shows up, I'm going to lose Hidden, which will hit me with Pelting Rain. I don't know what to do. What to do? I think I might just search for my last action. Let's dig in the deck and search. So I'm gonna spend an action to search. I'm I'm courting trouble. Yes, yes, that is correct. When you overcome, you still have the option for selecting rewards from a stranger. The only time you do not have the option is if you engage the stranger, which means they become an enemy. Once a stranger becomes an enemy, you have no choice. But when you overcome, you do. 
We got another stranger showing up. The planes. Uh, when you fail an influence test, you have to sacrifice an ally. Yeah, I'm not going to try to influence you. I'll probably just try to kill you. But you got five health, and you're a stranger. You're not going to hurt me. So you're just going to hang out here, and that's going to be cool. You're making my safe path. That's going to end my day. I am hidden. Pelting rain will not hit me, and that location is not in gloom. So let's see what's going on next. <laughs> so we've got Spine Ridge Pass falls into gloom as the tribal chief just shows up. Look at that art. It is just insane. Uh, what is the Spine Ridge Pass? Which is this one here? Upside down, isn't it? Yeah, it was upside down. Spine Ridge Pass falls into gloom. And you go there. Okay. Um, Pelting Rain doesn't hit me. Boom. Get all my actions back. First action. Hide. Second action. Let's go to the Misty Fens. Draw from the Badlands. Carl, God. Oh, God. <laughs> ah! So, this is where the game works against you sometimes. So, it says, um... It will roll four dice against me. It has three health, two to sneak. Enemy, it's a demon type. And look at its map trap. I need to sacrifice one item asset that I have. Bye-bye, potion. I was going to use you to kill him, but now you're gone. You're sacrificed. So, gotta get rid of it. It's discarded. And then he is in play. Actually, let me leave him up here because I'm about to beat him in the face for getting rid of my item card. So, uh, there he is. <laughs> it's an awful card. <laughs> so he is a demon. So basically my fight, I'm rolling three, four, five, uh, against, five dice against him. And because I'm hidden, I get a six dice. I'm rolling six dice. He's rolling four dice against me. He's going to be rolling four dice against me. He has three health. <sighs> Wait a minute. Oh, no, I didn't defeat a quest yet. Okay. All right. So, let's see what happens. He got a one, a two, a one, and a two. I got one, a, ten, one, a one, a three, a three, and a four, oh, and a partial success. So, he didn't hit me, and I hit him for one damage. So, he took... One damage. Okay, let's do it again. Let's let this let's let the fun happen. So he roll he rolled a five, a three, a one, and a two. I rolled two fours, three fours, a five. So I rolled one success, two partial successes. That's three damage, but he did hit me once, so therefore I lose a health and an AP. Okay, but I did hit him for two, so he's dead. Jerk. <laughs> Why can't you just not hit me? Um, so I when I defeat a when I defeat an enemy, I gain one gold. And that's it. So uh do I want the item or do I want this card? I want the item. And then, uh, do I want one gold or the loot bag? I'll go for the loot bag. So the item that I got as a rumor is Power Gauntlets. Uh, it's an item. It has the item, but it has the armor keyword. And I need to go to the open heath to get it. And the open heath is over here. So that goes in. How many rumors can you have in your hand? Six. How many rumors? So it's the rule of sixes. Six rumors in your hand, six assets down, and six um six loot tokens that you can hang on to. Rules of six. Two more gold. I'm going to town to buy stuff. Why not? So two more gold. A lot of gold. And that's in my hand. So I have three actions left. Uh, I'm no longer hidden. My next action is going to be to play, uh, we're looking for, not the lost, where's the Misty Fens one? This one. 
We're going to play Dark Arts to put this down as an asset. So that's title, order, and demon. So I'm, I'm good. So I've got the order keyword just in case I need it. I need to go to open Heath or Lost Force for sure. So um, I'm going to hide so Pelting Hail doesn't hurt me. And I'm going to start just kind of making my way down. Just make sure it's a flask you don't mind trashing if they spot it. What? I'm missing something. <laughs> oh yeah, if you get caught with any drinks, then they will kick you out. But they serve beer. I mean, you could go outside and drink all the beer you want. Okay, so... That ends my day. Pelting Hail won't hit me. So let's draw the night card, because I'm going to heal because of my healer. And it is... Oh, thank goodness. Eerie stillness. Barrowmore falls in the gloom, which means another plot card's coming out, but at least it gets rid of the stupid Pelting Hail weather card. And Barrowmore falls into... Barrowmore. Barrow... Right here. Falls in the gloom, which means a new plot card's coming out. Stranger. Noble... The pain and torment in the night's wild eyes uh, belie the slavery. What the slavering grin on on his face, and he rants in tongues about the coming of the deacon. You can put an end to his misery before he joins the ranks of the uh, ancient's minions. But what would people think of you for such callous butchery? If I sacrifice a title, I can defeat this. If I don't, treat all class cards as their ability, text, and attribute bonuses are blank. I don't need that, because I need my class card so I can hurt you. So, uh, that actually, this wouldn't matter. My class card just says I get a goal for defeating an enemy. Actually, this wouldn't bother me if that's on there. So just my class card, not my race card. Uh, Barrowmore. Barrowmore falls into Gloom. So, that will end that. Uh, my ability kicks before night's end. I heal. I lose hidden, I gain all my AP back. I can get the Sprawl City. One, two, three, four, five. I have four gold to buy something. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. So I will, um, let's spend an action to move freely here. If I can overcome this too, I would give me, it would give me four gold and then I could go to town and really buy stuff. But I need like, I need five successes to make this happen. Ugh. This is where that thing is of, you know, but I also need to get to the Lost Forest, which is here, and deal with that Abyssal Gate, which is going to be a hard fight to get that down, or I need to go to the Open Heath, which is over here. Having that money to be able to buy stuff just seems so amazing. I could travel to Barrowmore via this if I need to. So let's try it. I'm going to spend an action. Let's spend our actions to try this stuff. I need, I'm going to do study, and I need five successes. So I'm going to roll three dice for study. Wow, that's awful. So maybe that's a different plan. <laughs> maybe that's a different plan. So I'm going to spend an action to move. And then gonna spend an, a move AP to move from Lava Canyon to Barrow Moor through the underground tunnel system. Um, I am gonna do that. I am gonna do this. I'm going to then spend an action to um, just sacrifice a title. I don't need title. I have everything I need, say for spell. So I'm gonna sacrifice a title to discard this. And this will go into my hand as a rumor, which puts me at five, and I get to go to the loot bag. Oh, wouldn't, wouldn't that apply to your level up cards? Yes, it would apply to my level up cards, so I'm getting rid of it. So, uh, boots, I get a plus one sneak. Okay. So that gets cleared, so we don't have to worry about that nonsense anymore. 
Then I'm going to spend my last AP to move over to the open heath. And that will end my day. That's a nice weather. It's a lovely day. Lovely day. And of course, you want to ruin my day. Quest. Seek. Place this at the open heath and the open heath falls into gloom. I won't lose because I didn't camp there when it was in gloom, so I don't lose the health. But the open heath will flip. These two are here. A quest and a, uh, is there. But it has spells, so it will allow me to regale if I'm able to deal with that, which uh, this is a good idea. So um, that happens, and that's the open heath. So another plot card comes out. I tell you they'll start chaining on me, which is bad. Farseer of Betrayal, Stranger Noble. The Farseer's ominous predictions and rumor mongering are terrifying the populace. You should attempt to draw the ancient evil influence from this old prophet, but you would have to give of your own very essence to succeed. Lose two health. The deacon will gain two, eight, two health if I let this stay. I'm not ready for this card. It, it, it can sit at this location all at once. I'm going to get all my actions back. I'm going to spend an action to get power gauntlets down. So my fight is going up for, to three, four, five, six dice I roll now. Um, and then I want to get this quest, which I'm going to go after. So I'm going to spend an action to go after this quest with study three. I need three successes. Got one success on it. I'm gonna spend another action. Let's keep it rolling. Two. <laughs> got two six. I got two. I'm gonna spend my last fate to make it a three because I don't want to keep burning actions. So I will get this. Instead of getting this, I'm gonna get the spell, and then I'm gonna get the three gold because I'm gonna go shopping. So I'm flush with money. I'm gonna get the spell. Spell, uh, uh, let's see, yep, and this will get discarded. And the spell I drew is Whirlwind. <laughs> so Whirlwind, gain a, gain a move AP. Now, pause. Do you see that? Do you see where it says four and then they show a lock? That means that you can put this card down as a rumor. Uh, sorry, as an asset, but you cannot use it until you have four study. This does not give you four study. This means that this spell is locked off to you until you have four study. Uh, now, you gain the keyword spell in kinetic, but you cannot use it until you have four study. Right now, I only have three, which is bad. This would be cool, but I'm okay with losing it. So that goes into my hand as a rumor. Then I'm going to spend an action to regale. So I spent five gold. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to spend five gold to regale. I need to spend spell, place, and I'm going to use the stranger from this uh, to use those keywords. So the spell will go away, this place will go away, and I still have these two cards in hand. And I was able to regale for my third. I will get an extra health, an exhausted AP, and new abilities. So either I will, I don't know why it's doing that. Either I will, you may use fight for an influence test. <laughs> you know I'm going to do that, right? Or uh, after you roll dice during a fight test, each, four, each result of four is a success instead of a partial success. It's a full success. Ooh, choices. My influence is a four. My influence is actually more than a four. It's a five. So I'm going to do the real rules of fours of successes instead of partial successes and get rid of that. That should work for me well. All right, let's continue our story, shall we? Let's see what we're dealing with. Chapter four. Dragon's Horde. As you approach the Dragon's Mountain, the air is silent, heavy with death and fear. You hear a terrifying screech and suddenly dragon's fear para dragon fear paralyzes you. The worm's humanoid underlings are emerging from the mountains to track you down and end your quest. You must first turn the tables on them to survive, and then take the fight to the heart of the dragon's lair. Spend five, goals and one five gold and one regale action. I need to get noble, quest, and humanoid. So I have 
I have Noble with the Rosen Knight, so I'm good there. I need Quest and Humanoid. Hmm. Quest is right here. Humanoid is right there. So I got what I need. I just need to walk it. But I've got two actions left, and all these places are in gloom, which is bad, 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 bad. So I'm going to spend an action to move. And I'm going to spend one more action to move to Sprawl. Uh, I can move up. No, I'm not. I'm, I need to surprise him. So I'm going to move to Sprawl. And then I'll make camp. When I make camp, I lose a health because I'm at Sprawl City, which is in gloom, and I'll take a health loss. I will then pull a lovely, lovely night card. Demon Rite event. Discard a place from play, and the Lonely Gorge falls in the gloom. Any place you want. Discard a place from play, and Lonely Gorge falls in the gloom. Lonely Gorge is a mountain location, right? And that's Lava Canyon. Rolling Hills. It's the Lonely Gorge. Don't say it. Here. Lonely Gorge falls into gloom. And discard a place from play. This is the only place in the game, on the board right now, in play. So that's gone. That goes out. Uh, when the night phase ends, heal one. Then we break camp, get all my health back. Get all my AP back, because I'm feeling good. Feeling good. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, what I want. Uh, sacrifice one ally. Listen, you won't bother me. I think I'll go for um, I'll go for I want items and allies. I think I'm gonna go for items. Eh, this scares me. Yeah, I'll go for items. So I'm gonna spend an action to do a market action, and um, do I want to sell anything? No, because I want that ability. I do want that. So I'm going to draw four cards. I'm oh, sorry, three cards as a market action. I will flip them over, and then I get to choose one. I don't get to buy more than one. I just get to buy one, and then these are dis and then the rest are discarded. So I've got, I found, Dwarven Axe. Deed, Sacrifice. Defeat an enemy at your location, which I could use that for the Abyssal Gate if I need to. It has the keyword weapon. We've got jewelry that help ring of influence that helps me with more influence, but I don't really need that. So this is probably going to go. Nope. And then finally, I've got the doom shield. It's another armor card. Well, I already have an armor card right here, so I can't really use it. Um, but it would have been cool because uh, I, it could help me prevent the loss, but it's a deed sacrifice. So, it sounds like to me that I am buying the Dwarven Axe that will immediately go and play as an asset. I have to pay full price, which is three gold. And that will help me kill that or that. The problem is if I go back to here, it'll make me say, oh, I don't have a spell to give away, so I'm fine. So I can go back and insta-kill that or insta-kill that with this. And since I want to discover that, I think that's my best, that's my next shot. So... I'm going to uh, spend an action to hide uh, because I don't need to heal and I don't need to sell anything. That's all I need to do. I'll spend an action to hide and an action to move to Barrowmore. Good Lord. Hey, have you ever seen this card? <laughs> he is immune to item and defeat effects, so I couldn't use the Dwarven Axe on him. At all. Uh, he is it's Sam Hain. He has five health. He rolls five dice against you, and I need two successes to sneak past him. That is the worst. So I do need to evade him. No doubt. I Because I got the dark hearts down on this, I'm rolling two dice. I just need one success. <laughs> That's all I need. Ooh, or do I just fight him? Because he'll get surprise on me if I don't. I'm hidden. 
Uh, I can get a stranger back from this guy. And I'm only rolling two dice. I can re-roll once, and I can make... I can re-roll... Nope, that's only during fight tests. Ugh, this is a risk. Otherwise, he's going to roll six dice for the first round, and I'm going to only roll three, four, five... I'm going to roll six. It'll be a six on six. Otherwise, it'll be a seven on five. Nope, let's do it. I got one success. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. So you're like, how's that all you needed? It says that you need two successes to be able to evade him without any trouble. That's all I needed because rumors can be used as fate. So anytime you have a rumor in your hand, once per round, if you're out of the hourglasses, you can use rumors as fate. So I'm going to use this lovely rumor as a fate to succeed. And I'm getting out of here. Bye. <laughs> so I'm going to come down here to this abyssal gate. I'm going to then, so here's where we're going to deed. Deeds are free actions that can happen at any time during play, any time. So I'm going to deed sacrifice this weapon that says defeat an enemy at your location. So deed sacrifice, and you are defeated. When you are defeated, I gain a gold. And I will gain, I have enough to regale. Let's gain an item because I just lost one for killing you. And I'll gain the, uh, I'll go to the loot bag. Let's gain an item. So the item is, it can only stay as a rumor because it has the armor keyword. It has the armor keyword. So, but I can sell it for some good money. And then uh, either two gold or loot bag. I'm going to go to loot bag. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> so let's see how we're doing. I got a lantern. Gain a free search AP. So instead of spending an action to search, I can search as a, I can gain a free search action. So I'm here. I'm going to um, spend and and I don't lose hide because that was just a deed sacrifice. I'm going to spend an action to discover my mystic. So now my fight is three, four, five, six, seven dice that I roll, and my study is three, four. So that that whirlwind spell would have just activated for me. Uh, but it's gone. I have uh, the arcane keyword. Um, I do need... So I need quest, noble, and human. Oh, I needed noble. You were noble and I got rid of you. Oh, well. Oh, well. I will find another noble. There's a noble right here. Um, so let's... The safest spots are the green meadows. So let's do that. I'm going to spend an action to move into the green meadows. And this is, <laughs> this is a beggar. It says, when you start an influence test, you may pay one gold to just win. To just, to just defeat him. He gives you no gold, but you can get an ally instead of him. Um, and he gives you the stranger neutral uh, planes keyword. So he is there, just kind of taking up space. Which is good. I don't mind that he's there. Um... I got one action left. I don't want to spend the gold. I'm going to try to influence you. Because that just sounds fun. Hey, Lord Talisman. Thanks so much for subscribing. So I'm going to spend an action and try to influence you. If I have to fight you, it'll be fun. So <laughs> I'm going to influence you. I roll for influence. I have three, four, five dice. So I roll five dice to try to influence. And I need three successes. I got one success, which means he doesn't become an enemy, but it also ends my day, which is perfectly fine. All right, nighttime. And remember, I'm hidden. Nighttime, what do we got? We've got Travel Tithe event. Each hero must discard one rumor. That doesn't hurt me. So the rumor, this is the only rumor I have, which is the Elven Cloak, which is an item I gained. I have to discard it. Um, so I got rid of it. And the Shrouded Glade falls into gloom. Shrouded Glade. We're running out of time. We are running out of time. Alright, so... 
Um, I lose hidden, gain all my AP back. I need humanoid quest. Here's quest, quest, and noble. This one's noble. This is quest. This is humanoid. I need to get over there. So uh, first action, I'm going to hide. Second action, I'm going to move. This is just a stranger. I don't care. Third action, I'm going to move over to the mountain. Please don't be horrible. Please don't be horrible. Oh, I love Pius. Pius is so beautiful. So this is a stranger, monk, mountain, but his weakness is Pius, and I have the Pius keyword with my healer. Deed overcome. <laughs> so I defeat him. I defeat the stranger, and um, I am going to pick an ally up, and I'm going to go to loot bag. Ally. This is a wild mage with arcane. I've already got the arcane keyword. This would let me gain two spells for free if I sacrifice it, but... Now I'm just going to hold you right there and I can still I can still do that. I'm going to go loot bag. So what do we got? I've got two more gold. That feels good. Greed is good. All right, so we do that. Um, this right here is not a safe zone. Once I move into that zone, I have to draw a planes card. When you see plots out, they're not safe. You have to draw a plane. You have to draw a, a, an encounter. So I'll move up here. What are we dealing with? An Orc Ravager. He has three health. He's going to roll three dice, one to evade. Well, I want to fight this guy because I just don't like how his face looks. So let me leave him up here because you're going to see me fight him. So there he is. Um, I gained surprise on him. So I'm going to roll three, four, five, six, seven dice. So two, four, five, six, seven dice. He's going to roll three dice against me. Yes. Uh, you, you have to resolve the encounter before the plots when it comes to enemies. Yes. If there is a, if there is a, an obstacle, you have to resolve the obstacle. And you have to resolve everything before assaulting the Ancient. Yep, so you do have to resolve the encounter. So I gained Surprise on him. Uh, wait, which should be more? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> it should be rolling eight dice. Two, four, six. Two, four, six, eight. Eight dice is three because I had Surprise on him. And is he a demon? Is he a demon? Nope, he's just a humanoid. Which I need that keyword anyway. So I got one, two, three, four, five, and he got two partial successes and a five. So he hits me for two, and I kill him. But he does hit me for two, taking out two of my actions. So cool, but he's dead. So he's dead. I'm going to keep him because he has the humanoid keyword. So I'm going to keep him in hand, and I'm going to go to loot bag. That's no fun. What do we got? What about a quest? It doesn't matter the order. Um, I gained two more gold. If there is an encounter at your location, uh, Jess, if there's an encounter, you have to do the encounter first. If there's an enemy at your location, you can't say I'm going to do this, then fight the enemy. The enemy is always first. Hopefully that clears that up. Um, I'm going to use this potion to heal one health. So let's use that. Do you have to do the quest before the plot? Played that wrong the other day. <laughs> yeah, if there's, a, if there's an enemy at your location, the enemy always trumps everything. Always, always, forever and ever. Forever and ever and ever. Um... I think I need to blindly move and then come back and deal with this guy. This could be bad. This could be really bad. But I'm going to blindly move over to the Endless Bracken so I don't lose another health. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, of essence, if I, if I defeat this location, I heal. Um, I heal, too. Which is very good because I'm going to heal back up the full health at the end of the night. So there we go. Woo! Night card. 
Let's see what we're dealing with. Orc Assassin. Discard a stranger from play. You are useless to me, so... Uh, yeah, you're useless to me. You're out of here. Bye-bye. Stranger discarded from play. And the location that I just landed on falls in the gloom. Why shouldn't it? Only trying to be safe, you know. Why shouldn't it fall in the gloom? Okay. Um, and when the night phase ends, I heal a health. Breaking camp, get all my AP back. And now we need to go take care of these. So now I gotta go back over here and deal with this problem again, don't I? Well, let's do it. Um, I'm going to hide. And let's let's get a move on. And draw another planes card. Okay. This is actually a pretty pretty good one. Quest. Let's restore this farm. That doesn't have as much rules as Mage Knight. No way, my no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> uh no way. <laughs> so that'll be there. Uh, I disagree. Strongly disagree. Alright, so we got that. There's a quest here. So we are going to, um, we're going to take on this quest. Uh, study. I just need one success. And I'm rolling three, four. So I'm rolling four dice and I just need one success. I got one, two, three successes, so I did win it. I am going to keep this card because I need it. However, I am going to go to the loot bag as well. And we get one more gold. Feeling rich. Okay, so... Um, then... I have to take two damage to get this card, don't I? I have I have Humanoid. I have Quest. I just need that card to regale. I have no choice. So I'm going to spend I'm going to spend an action to uh, lose two HP, which makes me lose two AP, to defeat this and keep this in my hand. Oh, that sucked. Okay, um, but I also get to go to loot bag for defeating that. And I did get to, I get to level up, thank goodness. And I got a trap. Lose one HP immediately. Oof. So that's three health down, which means I'm down to one left. Well, what am I going to do with that? I'm going to regale with that last action. And with that regale action, I have to spend five gold. One, two, three, four, five. I need to spend a noble, a quest, and a humanoid. And I level up, so I gain one extra health, one exhausted AP, and, uh, oh no, I'd still be hidden, there wasn't an enemy. One extra health, one AP, I get to choose these two. So either I will, um, Deed Veil, vale. after you roll dice during a fight test, each result of six counts as double successes instead of one. Or, during a battle, your foe performs its fight test after the foe defeated check, which means I get to roll first. Which is what I'm going to take. <laughs> the double successes actually would be nice. That actually would be nice. That actually would be really, 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 really nice. Because if I roll a six, I'll be rolling three, four, five, six, seven dice. And if I roll any sixes of those sevens, that counts as double successes. <laughs> like you roll sixes after you take that. <laughs> I know! I know you're right! You're so right! I should take the foe defeated check. He'll, he'll roll against me after I roll. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it, Mike. I will live to regret that so hard, but I'm going to take the double successes. Um, and then that ends chapter four. So we're on to our finale. I need to go 
So the Dragon Horde. So I need to go to, to uh, the Lonely Gorge and test fight set. I need seven successes on this. This is not fighting. This is just testing. And I need seven successes. And if I get seven successes, I will complete my finale. The Ancient will appear on the board and I can deed assault him. And the Lonely Gorge is located right there. So I'm at my finale. Okay. That ends my day. I camped at the open heat, so I'll take a damage. That's unfortunate. And so I'm down four health. I'm back to base health. <laughs> then we go to the night card. Um, Wave of Doom! <laughs> Wave of Doom. Uh, place this enemy at the dead swamp, and the dead swamp falls in the gloom. Uh, dead swamps right here and that enemy goes there uh how many strangers are in play just you and you okay and you so that's three all right so um i will heal one before and then i just get back to four five instead of my eight which makes me sad um so i'm going to and i lose hidden I'll spend an action to move here. I'll spend an, an action to go to Sprawl City. I'm going to spend an action to buy something. So I'm going to buy... I don't have to, I don't have to regale anymore. So I've got five gold. I'm going to find some allies. One, two, three. Let's find some allies to help us out. So our first ally is the Gladiator. It will give us plus one fight. When a battle starts, uh, your foe loses lose your foe loses surprise. So that's not bad. I cost four gold. We've got Pastor who has Pious. I already have the Pious keyword, so he cannot come with me. So let's just go ahead and discard him. And um, we've got the Elementalist who also has the Pious keyword. So all that's left is this dude, Marshall. And Marshall has the Star keyword. This does not count against your class card. So I can play this. even It doesn't count against your class card, but it counts against everything else. So um, I'll put that down. I spend four gold. One, two, three, four, which really ups my fights. Now my fight's three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice. Okay, I've got two left. First to hide, second to move. What do we got in the forest? Stranger, village, forest, map. When you start an influence test, pay one goal or all your successes in the test will be canceled. Yikes. Yeah, no. You can just stay there. I'm not interested. I don't want it. Don't want. So that ends all my actions. So then we'll go to the night phase. Windy Valley falls into gloom. Uh, place Put this place at Windy Valley. Ooh, it's a little blurry. Sorry. There we go. There we go. Windy Valley falls in the gloom, which is a plains location. The valley is right here, right next to the Lonely Gorge. And that is a place which the next plot card will come out. Let's see what we're dealing with. Stranger Noble. With a cruel sneer, the otherworldly emissary offers you a trade of vital information about the deacon's methods in exchange for a display of your abilities. You sense that he is assessing you for some unknown sinister purpose. Veil all four skills, which means exhaust them all, and then we'll do this. If I don't, I'm going to lose a health when I take the, when I take him on. Plus, he'll gain a health because it's a stranger card. That'll go there. Okay. Uh, I will gain a health back because of my healer. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Lose hidden. Is it just me or do you wish the location cards flip the other way for sideways? I do wish they would. Yeah, I do. I do wish they, like, I could turn it over. I do agree about that. Okay, so... Um, these are fight tests, so I can use these abilities if I need to for the Lonely Gorge, because this is a fight test. Um, 
So I can use my abilities on that if I need to, but I need to first hide and then I need to move here and draw from the, from this deck. What do we got? We got a quest. Quest Mountain, weakness is neutral. Ain't nothing neutral about me. I don't have the neutral keyword. So that's gonna go on here and you will sit there, be happy. And then I'm gonna spend an action to do this. Remember sixes count as double successes. I'm rolling three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm rolling eight dice. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm rolling eight dice and I need seven successes. And sixes count as double. I got one, two, three. So that means I can make it two, four, five, which I am going to veil this. Nope, where is it? Where is it? This one. The deed veil that. So I've got two, four, five. So I've got five of seven. Um, then if I roll any ones, I can re-roll, but not yet. Not yet. So I'm going to spend another action to test again. Oh my god. <laughs> so one, two, and then double success is three, which is enough to complete my saga. Yay. Yeah. So I've completed it. Let's flip it over and see what we, let's see what we get, Ed. So um, vast wealth. Hero enters play. Draw one item and put it into play as an asset. Ignore the limit of six for this one that you're about to draw. And this goes, this is an asset that comes in boosting me up and I gain an item. Please don't be something that I'm going to, yes, it's jewelry. <laughs> so I gain this free item that is jewelry that gives me plus one to study as a demonic brooch. I don't have to go to the dark mire. It is mine. So we have done all this. We have completed our saga. And now the ancient appears in Barrow Moor. Where are you, you ancient jerk? It's the one that I don't have um, readily available. Every single other ancient's right there except for him. So he, there he is. So the ancient appears right there. I cannot fight him until I clear this nonsense. So this is going to be tough. All right, so we took care of that. I need to take care of this for sure. So let's, I'm gonna take a health loss anyway, I can't help it. So I'm gonna move here, and I'm gonna spend an action to veil all my skills, get rid of this. So this is gone. Um, this goes in my hand, go to loot bag, and then we're gonna start walking our way down to that guy. One gold. Cool. Okay, that ends my day because I ended at a place that's in gloom. I lose a health. Night time. Uh, Spire Tor falls in gloom. And place the event uh, revealed. Place this card in place beside the map. Each encounter at Spire Tor gains plus two to each attribute. I will never go there. Um, so breaking camp before breaking camp, I gain a health back. Do stealth, re-up all my abilities. And then I get back to everything but two. <laughs> so uh, two, four, six, two, four, six, yes. All right, we gotta, we gotta deal with this. We gotta deal with this. This is bad, but we gotta deal with it. Got to deal with it. Okay. Uh, let's get out of here. One, two, <sighs> I'm gonna hide. How much nights do I have left? I have five nights left. 
I'm gonna spend. So I spent an action. I had him and spend that action. Actually, move to the old woods. I need. I I'm. Eh, do I want to? I need to end my turn at a safe space, and I've only got two left. So if I move here. No, let me go over here. I'll go over here to the old woods. Let's see what we're dealing with. Place dungeon when a test and when the test ends, lose two HP if you gain no successes in that test. It's a sneak test for the bottomless pit. I'm fine with not worrying about that. What I plan to do now is rest for one and rest for the other one <laughs> to get all my health back because I'm going for that guy. Oh, this is going to be a hard fight. Okay, so. Um, nighttime. Warm sunshine. When breaking camp ends, each hero gains one move AP. Woohoo! Free move! Sunshine! And the lush jungle falls in the gloom. That is... This replaces eerie stillness. Lush jungle. Alright. There's still one left. I don't want that to come out. I want to assault you while I can. So, um, I lose hidden. I'm not at a place that's going to hurt me. So I get all my stuff back. Here we go. One to hide. And let's get, let's start walking. Actually, I don't need to hide just yet. I don't need to hide just yet. One, move. Two, move. Three, hide. Four, move. Uh, alright, you're immune to defeat effects, but I don't care. Uh, so let's go ahead and fight. So you're gonna roll five dice against me. And I'm gonna roll three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dice against you. Two, four, six, eight, ten, plus surprise, eleven. So I roll 11 dice against you, and you roll 5 dice against me. This could be, this could be horrific. This could be horrific. So I did 1, 2, I re-roll that, you hit me for 2. And I could do double, so I'll make that four. And then I'm going to spend a rumor to make that five. So I'm going to veil this after a fight test. Two successes. So that's two, four. I'm going to use a rumor to make it five. And you hit me for two. You're dead. Jerk. <laughs> so um, I'm going to gain an item. A weapon weapon keyword i don't as your action defeat an enemy at an adjacent location <laughs> if i could get that the lush jungle is where there nope we don't have time for it and uh four gold uh let's go loot bag we're about to finish this guy so let's go loot bag i get spyglass gain one discover ap okay so you hit me for two i hit him for a bunch with two health loss. Two health loss. And I want to read this about resting. Can I rest where he is? As long as there's nothing else there but him. Steven, I feel, I feel Steven channeling inner Steven saying no. Uh, no encounters present. He's not an encounter. He's an assault. He's not an encounter. No, the hero has fewer HP than max HP. And eh, regain one HP. He's not, see that's the thing, he's not an encounter. He's a deed assault. So I think that I can. Uh, this is one thing that someone will have to correct me on, but I feel like I can. However, I want this if I'm gonna fight him. So I think I might have to end the day here and take a damage. So I'm gonna spend an action to rest, and I'm gonna spend another action to rest and end my day. Please, please don't drop. Please let this not be, let this not be a plane's location. Dang it, it's a plane's location. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, place one obstacle at each location for each place it has. 
and the verdant fields falls in the glooms. I should have assault deed assaulted him. I should have rested and assaulted. I should have. Oh, wait, wait, no. No, I can rest and assault him. I, I used move AP. The, the, uh, the warm sunshine said that I had a free move AP, which I didn't use. So I should have one left and I will use that. to. No, I needed this. That's the reason why I didn't do it. I needed this. So I would have lost the health from, from resting there and my turn. This would go away. This would come out, which is the verdant feels. I should have just assaulted the guy. Uh, this is what happens. Ugh. <laughs> Ew. Oh, this is happening. This is happening. So uh, he's going to treat all allies as though their ability, text, and attribute bonuses are blank when I, when I fight him, which means I'm going to lose one fight, but that's okay. I still need to start with one. So that's going to go here. I will get this back, which is what I want, above all else. And then I heal one, because that doesn't kick yet, which means I'll get all my AP back. Yep, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm following through. And then I will deed assault. So, deed assault. Let's deal with let's deal with this. Let's do the finale and see if we can beat him. So, deed assault. I need to sacrifice one ally when as a map trap. I'm going to sacrifice my healer. When the night phase ends, I'll heal. This is a fight to the death, so I'll sacrifice my healer. Um then Deacon of Betrayal gains plus 1 maximum and current HP for each stranger in play. Okay. So each stranger in play, let's see. Nope, 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 nope. No, yes, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So he gains five extra health, so. You know what, we're gonna use our, we're gonna use our Marvel United, we're gonna use our Marvel United counter for this. We're gonna do the Marvel United counter for this because I haven't, I didn't think about this night. So he he starts with nine. How much health do you have to start? Eight, uh, nine health, and then he gained one, two, three, four, five. So he gets five extra on top of that. Uh, when an ability, when the battle round starts, each hero rolls one less die than uh, the previous battle round, and hit stays haunt him. All right. So then he also gets this, which says, "Treat all allies as though their ability, text, and attribute bonuses are blank," which means this ally flips over, and is gone. Which means, well, yeah, and it wouldn't have mattered anyway. So all my, so that's that. That's my only ally. Everything else is not. Uh, actually, no, that's not true. That's not true. I don't know if I want to assault him yet. I don't want to assault him yet, because he's going to shut me down. I would only be able to roll three, four, five, six, seven, eight dice instead of ten. Then he'll take it to seven, six, five. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Because then I'll be rolling three, five, six, seven dice, eight dice instead of ten. So let's do it. So I will sacrifice. You're shutting down my ally, so these two are gone. I have to sacrifice this. That's fine. That's fine. All right, we're ready to fight you. So um, I'm rolling three, five, six, seven, eight dice. So two, four, six eight dice you are rolling eight dice as well two four six and i don't have any more white dice uh, let's go to the let's go to this <laughs> one two there we go so it's eight on eight to the death win lose or draw eight on eight ah! <laughs> good lord so it's eight on eight. Um, and I will be veiling everything I can to kill you as quickly as I can. So here we go. 
All the tea. So, I got, you rolled one. This is a six. Two, three, four. I rolled one, two, you got a partial success. I just rolled two and a partial success. Oh my god. So I took one, two, three, four damage, and you only took two. Where are you? Come here. And you only took two. One, two. Yikes. Okay. Uh, next round, I'm rolling one fewer die. So instead of eight, I'm rolling seven. Wait, are you a demon? I was supposed to roll one more die. You are a demon. All right, it didn't win anyway. So, okay. So now I'm rolling eight and seven, nine, because you're a demon. So I roll one, two, three. You rolled one. I can make that double, make it uh, more than three, but I'll keep it at three for right now. I didn't roll any ones, and you didn't roll double partial successes, so you take three damage, and I take one. Keep it going. And I roll one less die. Now I'm at seven. I rolled one, two, three, two partial successes, so four. You rolled one, two. So you hit me for two. I'm down to one health, and I've hit him for four. One, two, three, four. Oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Come on, come on, come on. The, the full defeat check comes before the, the hero defeat check. Just give me two sixes, two sixes. That's all I want, two sixes, come on. One, two, three, I think I got it. I think I beat him, he hit me for two. So let's check the defeat check. So, combat, 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 engagement. So, skirmish. Um, so, skirmish, hero and foe perform fight tests for each success. The opponent loses one health, as always, and the hero loses one HP for each HP loss. Foe defeated. If the foe has lost its last HP, uh, ancient, only gold, room, no rumors, and then the hero defeated check. I think I just won. So, I'm going to flip this to make that two. I'm going to actually uh, flip this to re-roll this one. That's okay. Um, so this is two, three. Uh, so this is two, three, four. Oh, no! I lost! I lost! I didn't win! No! Wait, can I do anything else? Oh, wait, force of successes! Force of successes! After you roll dice during a fight test, each force considers success. So this is two, three, four, five. That's what it was. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. I got the five. I got the five. I got the five. I got the five. And I could fade if I needed to, but I don't need to. I got the five because I have my ability that says um, after you roll uh, dice during a fight test, each four, each result of four is a success. So I veiled that, veiled the double, re-rolled the die. Boom! <laughs> so... Um, we do the battle round, we do the skirmish step, then we do the foe defeated check, and then we do the hero defeated check. But if we do the foe defeated check, we have defeated the ancient, and we won the game! <laughs> what an ending! What an ending! hoo <laughs> What an ending! Uh, oh my gosh, we won, we won, we won. Ah. Uh. Oh my gosh. I'm so impressed. I'm, 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 my heart's beating out of my chest. Look at all that bad rolls. He demolished me the first round. That was bad. But he has been defeated. The Ancient has been thwarted.
And the land is safe. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we won! Hey! <laughs> Wait, uh, won because it's your birthday tomorrow. I know, right? <laughs> That's birthday luck. It really is. Uh, <laughs> we did it! Oh, we did it! It's hot. It's hot in here. It's hot. All right. So, um... We defeated, we defeated the ancients, and we sit, we, we, there was, how much knights are left? There was three knights left, which was, uh, one, the next one would have been the Veil of Fog, which would have been awful. Um, Howling Gale, bad weather, and then an event that would have been bad. So, we did it with three knights remaining. Woohoo! <laughs> Some epic dice rolls tonight. It was fun. It was fun. I still, you see, I'm still excited. I This is why I enjoy this game. After God knows how many playthroughs I've done of this game, I still enjoy it so much with the close wins and the tight, you know, it isn't, it isn't a walkthrough, you know, it's a tight fight. But we did it. We won. It was fantastic. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me today. Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry. So hope uh, I'm hoping Kate. I hope this translates to Sunday for the Arkham Horror playthrough. I hope this translates. <laughs> so uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining. Thank you so much for thank you for sharing this win with me. Actually, thank you for coming to the table and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, uh, thank you to my patrons, my YouTube subscribers, and if you're neither, just coming in to hang out. Thank you and welcome as well. Um, I'm keeping my eye on the amount of subs that I'm having, and I'm close to my next goal, which, which is uh, 1,500. Once I hit 1,500, I'm actually going to have a 1,500 sub celebration, and then we're going we're gonna to do something fun for that. So it's coming up. I think I have, when I checked last, I think it was eight, eight, more, eight more subs to 1,500. So it's getting close. So if I can hit that number, we're going to plan something pretty cool. Um, I might ha I actually will have a board game giveaway that's going to be happening during that time. I do have them on here. I've been saving them for when I hit that number. So I do have a board game giveaway to, to do, um, for that. And, um, we'll see how this shakes up. So, yeah. So thank you so much, everybody, for joining me. This, this is always special. I love this game. It, it means a lot to me. So I really appreciate it. Um, and I will see you all Thursday morning for Frostpunk. So Thursday morning, we'll be playing Frostpunk, and then Thursday afternoon, uh, or Thursday evening, I'm probably going to play, we're going to play, uh, I think me and Pac-Man are going to, he's going to come back over and we're going to play Skyrim to continue with Chapter 2. First time I've ever seen you win glue. <laughs> it's so tough to play playing it live. Um, so, uh, when, no, when Steven and I play, we win. When he and I play together, we always seem to pull out a win on, in this game. I don't, I think we've lost once together, but usually we um we win. Uh so what else? Yeah, so Thursday is Frostpunk in the morning, Skyrim at night. Friday is uh, I haven't scheduled it yet, but it's Heroes of Terranoth. And um I might try to sneak in a sword a sword and sorcery, one one mission of sword and sorcery on Friday. Saturday's one stop call shop chat, and then Sunday is uh, Arkham Horror with Kate and Cynthia, so it should be good. There's a lot of games coming on the birthday celebration, right? So I will see you all uh, Thursday for more gameplay. Until then, just know I love you all, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. See y'all later. Bye.